Okay, just before we go back forward, a couple things I realized. One? Well, uh... I didn't have armor on Fina or Ika. So, yeah, that could explain why they were weak for a while. Second? Um... I noticed something when I was looking through, like, things that equip people. Check it out! Drachma's icon is still there, so he could still be a member of our party at some point. And Gilder's one spot over more than I thought he would have been, which means there's somebody else that could be in the party. Yay! And that's it, probably. Just a few things I noted. I did train a little bit, but not really much. Ica went on up a level, that's about it. So, yeah. Nothing really major to go over. Anyway, we'll get back and right tomorrow. Let's play Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is your host, MJ406. And we're hoping, I'm hoping that we can get a ship to get out of here. And this might just be our ticket, unless it's an enemy ship. Wait, wait, did I say it was gonna be Antonio 3? Oh no, it's different. I was gonna say, if it was, I'd be like, no way. <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. Oh, that would have been so amazing. Oh, wow. That would have been so cool. But whatever. Looks like we have another big weapon in our way before we can get out of here. I mean, I knew we would. It's just... It's just satisfying to know that I was right. It's only been machines here, too. It's not really that much to fight right now. No living beings. Other than Zillin Bane that kicked my ass since I didn't have my armor equipped. Which pretty much meant my defenses were halved for Ika and Fina. No wonder why Fina was taking a buttload of damage. Wheel blast? Did you shoot your wheel at them? Ah, there is a soldier in there. Woo! Ah, so you're an asshole, are you? Very well, then. I should beat you up to the best of my ability. Ah, I shouldn't do that. I gotta keep us alive. I'm sure it won't do that again, but... It's better to make sure everybody's at full health. Which, everybody was at full health at the start of this battle. And Ika's... MP was maxed out, so I didn't need to do worry about that at all. I imagine this will be the last boss we fight before we get out of here, though. If it's not... Oh, wow. Then, well, that would kind of suck. Oh, come on, for real? Come on, is this really all you're gonna do? You're just gonna do this crap? Oh, no, Fina! It took her out with one blast? Holy crap! I was not expecting that. Oh. This thing's strong. I thought Fiend had more health than that. Ah, get away from me. Well, it has a 50% revival chance, but it seems like it's a lot less than that after all the times I've not been able to revive. Finally, you're doing a standard attack. God damn. Seriously, it was going a little nuts with the attacks a lot earlier in the fight. That was so unnecessary. Let's try again. I don't need her that badly since she can't since she can't stone the machine, but you know. There we go. Huh. You can usually tell by the visual angle they give you whether they'll be revived or not. Alright, if you attacked Fina, by the way, that's just bullshit. That you were expecting her to be revived. I'll say that right now. So that better not fit your plan. So what do you got, Drawker Tank? Ow! That was a bit much, you dick. Okay, I see you enough. Let's go with the Cutlass Fury. As well as a Sacrum. To try to keep everybody alive a little bit more. Now, I'll finally do a little bit of damage. Finally! This thing's defenses are pretty damn high. Well, I imagine magic might work well on it, but I'm trying to not go too crazy on that yet. Moves, give me but now everybody will be at 
pretty good health. Fina's health is just a bit under 2,000. Oh, that's probably why he died, because she got hit by a counterattack before it did the wheel blast. Dick! He's gonna do another wheel blast. Yep. Oh, advise! At least it's somebody that can take it. And he is the warrior's room now, so his defense is pretty high. Not incre incredibly high, but high. Okay, I'll just heal him. So I can save myself some spirit points. Moons, give me Man. I was not ready for a boss to get this defensive heavy. That's why I was going to grind in the first place. I kind of thought another boss would be coming, so I wanted to be stronger. Although it doesn't look like I needed it that badly. This boss is just hard either way. Gotcha. Ooh. Damn! All right, good. It's getting weaker, finally. At least it's a pretty simple enemy. Yeah, let's keep going with it. You know what? Let's see how much the crystal attack works. Let's see if magic really does do wonders on this thing. She's the best one equipped for using magic attacks, other than Fina, but... Fina can't... Ooh, yeah, I had a feeling. Fina can't recover her MP, so I don't want to use it on her from her as much. I only use it from her if it's an emergency. She has the best revival magic, so that's mostly what I want to use her for. But she's the easiest one to kill, which is also a problem. Alright, we're getting close to finishing this thing off. As long as it doesn't keep getting its freaking counters in crazy succession. Wow, you hate Vise. Holy crap. I mean, I couldn't blame you, but still, you're a bit of a dick. Ow! Okay, Vice is gonna get a decent bit of recovery. So go ahead, Fina. Let Ika do the work. Ha! <laughs> I said the wrong name again. Damn it, they're both women! I don't can't tell the difference! That's sexist. Anyway, kill! Man, this thing's strong. Although it's losing its health bit by bit. I'll make sure you can't walk again. But in in on your on your wheels. You can't walk on your wheels anymore. Get out of the way! Man, just die. Oh wow. Gilder's starting to take a good bit of damage too. Man, you hate Vi's! Oh my god! You want him dead. Jesus. This tank only wants Vi's dead. It's been attacking him non-stop. There we go. Now everybody's in very good shape. Oh, look at it. The tank's getting exhausted. Its cannon is even lowered. It's like it knows it can't put up much of a fight anymore. Oh, God, Vi's! Ow! Did it walk on me? Dick! Alright, fine. This turn should... Turn? This turn should be the one to end it, hopefully. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait. There we go. I want to be able to use Epsilon Mirror next turn, so... I don't want to kill it just yet. I'd like to plan ahead for Ika to live while she has everything on her. Perfect. Fina got to take damage from a counterattack, so now she gets to experience some good healing as well. Ika's the only one that hasn't really been attacked by this thing at all. Except for the first wheel blast. But that was a good move on its part because it got her and Gilder together. Oh no, Fina! Good thing I healed. Good, she's just good enough to survive. Woo! Damn! Music just got super depressing as soon as she got blasted. It's like, oh no! Good lord. I'm pretty sure she'll be able to live through this. But just in case, kill yourself on an emergency. 
in case Cutlass Fury doesn't kill. And I hope she goes last. Although heals usually go pretty early, so that might go before Cutlass Fury, which would make me slightly upset. But it's my decision. Yeah! Come on, finish him off. Let's make this good, baby. Now die. Oh! Come on, Gilder. Too bad Gilder's slow. But, just in case she gets hit by regular attack, she'll be able to live. Ha! Called it. It's like I knew. Get out of here, you stupid tank. Yeah, there we go. I had a feeling that would do the trick. <laughs> Good. Had just enough to get by. Ooh. Yeah, I'll help survive and killed her. And now Fina's very far behind because she died of Zivlin Bane. Damn it. Ooh, five Rislim crystals. Oh no! The alarm! Yeah, it's like they expected us to be here. This isn't good. In a few seconds, this place is going to be crawling with gods. Quack! Get on the left! Oh no. Someone is telling us to get on that thing! I can't see who it is! Fies, what should we do? I mean, we may as well. If we just stand around here, we're gonna get caught anyway. We should take the lift. Right, Gilder? That's true. It, lo it looks like that's our only option. Yes. All right. Let's go, then. Let's get on before anybody else gets on. It's a private lift for four. Ah. It's the prince. Hail. So, your advice. I am Enrique. En Enrique, you're the Prince of Alua. The Prince of Alua. Uh, you're the prince? Haha, <laughs> -ha, yes, I am. After you escaped from yourselves, I figured you'd head for the docks to try and steal a ship. Please, follow me. All right, what's going on? Why is the prince helping us? I have no idea, but we should probably follow him in case we have to backstab him first. You never know this guy. He'd be secretly the most sadistic person here. Always super calm, trying to act like the good guy. That he'll kill Empress Theodora and enslave like world destruction. And be like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sure that's not going to happen. That would be ridiculous. What the? Woo, this looks like a good ship. You probably already figured out that we're on the bridge of a ship. Say hello to the Delphinus, the newest member of the Armada. This is my personal flagship. It is heavily armored and can still match the top speed of our cruisers. And it is equipped with the weaponry of a heavy battleship. Damn, it's amazing. This ship is the prototype. Soon we will begin building a whole fleet of Delphinus class ships. Value plants use these ships to take over the world. Ah, of course they do. But at least we get to take one for ourselves, although it looks very complicated. It would. With a whole fleet of ships like this. Valiwood would easily be able to take over the world. Especially since Nasrad has fallen. I can't think of a good voice for this guy. So, your royalness. There's still one thing that I can't figure out. Why would you help us escape? Then take us to the bridge of your flagship. You've gotten through a lot of trouble just to show off. Yeah, Gilder has a good point. Are you going to betray the Armada? Please say yes. That'd be amazing. Is he the fifth party member? Out of six? I... I want you to take this ship. I want you to take me with it. Oh no! What?! Are you serious?! Valium has been taking over other countries by force, destroying their lands, and murdering the innocent! As a prince of Valium Empire, all the innocent blood spilled by the Armada is on my hands! Yeah, that's true. I've done all I can to convince the Empress and Galsian that what Valium is doing is wrong. But I cannot convince them to change their ways. Everything I have tried has failed. I'm powerless to stop them. My only chance for redemption is to aid you. I see. Please, take me with you. I will even go with you as a hostage. Hmm. He does seem like he has good intentions. I'll trust him, because I'm a good man. Of course you can come with us. But there's one problem. The Blue Rogues don't take hostages. 
If you want to sail with us, you must do so as a blue rogue. Oh boy, a prince turned pirate. <laughs> yeah! There we go. Thank you. I'll do my part as a member of your crew. I'm glad to hear it. You know, I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Vise of the Blue Rogues. It is an honor to be a member of your crew, Vise. There we go. Good, a friendship with somebody deep in Valua. That really helps. I never would have thought that I'd be riding on the same ship as a Valuan, let alone the Prince of Valua. But the crystals are still in the hands of the Valuans. Yes, you're right. He has them, doesn't he? Well, technically, you are right. What? I have the crystals. I stole them before I came to the docks to find you. I was going to destroy them. But now that you're here, but perhaps it would be best if I return them to you. Please take them. Wow! Enrique, you've done so much for us already! Thank you! Ha! You act an awful lot like an air pilot for a prince. Alright, start the engines! Let's take the Delphinus and get out of here! Yeah! Good! We got the crystals back. And we have Prince Enrique as a member of our crew. Awesome! So now it's time for us to depart. Let's go! Delphinus, full speed ahead! Damn, we got quite a ship now. This is going to be the best ship in the game, isn't it? I mean, look at it! It's an absolute war machine! Dang it, I knew I should have saved my captain's stripes for this, but whatever. I didn't think we'd just... I thought the little Jack would be the ship the entire time. Then again, that seemed way too small. So this must be where the crew members come in, because this place is huge! I like it! Now I know what it's like to feel rich! Finally! My true goal as a pirate has been fulfilled. To get all the money from the rich. But now I have it! Does that make me a hypocrite? Whatever. Are we going to have a ship battle on this thing first before we leave? That wouldn't surprise me. Or, or Valley will have a hard time detecting us as an enemy. In which case, that would be sweet. So we can just come here whenever we want. Yeah, baby. They sealed off the entrance. Dang, it's like they know. I won't worry too much about the fortress. The spots where I blew up the cannon should be weak. Hmm. And if this ship's got the firepower that the prince said, we should be able to blast all the way out. Well, here it goes. So we're fighting the fortress. Oh, boy. See, I had a feeling there'd be at least one ship. Ooh. Guys, just to let you know, the Delphinus is equipped with Valor's newest, most powerful weapon. It's called the Moonstone Cannon. Until recently, it was only an experimental weapon. It was only an experimental weapon under development by Lord DeLoco. He used data collector for the red and green Gygus to develop it. He says that this cannon's power rivals the power of the Gygus themselves. But the manufacturing cost of this cannon is so immense that this ship is the only ship in the entire amount equipped with one. Wow! That means this ship is as powerful as a Gygus then! I can't believe it! Holy crap! Well then, boys, let's give our test run, shall we? Just use the us cannon command, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. How much does it cost of 20? Oh, man. Shoot. Okay. Well, in that case, I was focused for two turns. Card for the second two. Ooh, 40,000 HP. Dang. Oh, cool. We get six spirit points with every single uh, focus. One tenth. Yeah, I'll just build up the points for the cannon. Oh no, it's six for Vise. So Vise gets the most out of everybody, huh? Vina and Ica doesn't get much, although I knew that already. I mean, I should have figured that Vise had the most spear points out of everybody, but yeah, it was worth checking. Ha! What do you call that wimpy attack? 
two guards just in case they decide to do something devastating, which I think the red things indicated. Oh, never mind, I dodged the first attack then. Huh. How convenient. Ow. As I figured, that thing's pretty big. Okay, now we got this. Just be a dick, I'll do that. That's only if that fails. You can guard. So, you, know, you fire the S can because it would be funny. Gilder fire, fire prototype can, see what else I can do, just out of curiosity. Okay, it took no damage. Got it. Well then, it's time to see how strong this freaking Moonstone Cannon is. Oh yeah, baby, here we go. Oh, beautiful. Fire away. Yeah! Damn! Cost a few more spirit points, but hey. It looks like it's absolutely destro- Oh, damn. So basically this thing could be a one-hit kill machine. Oh, man. Gear grease. Ooh. Fancy. Damn straight. There we go. We found our way out. Yo, dude. This ship is gonna be rad as hell. I imagine this is what we're keeping the rest of the time, so I'll be free to upgrade this. My heart's content. Yeah, baby. We did it! I can't believe it! We just broke through the Grand Fortress! You should know how to break in a new ship. Now we can finally continue on our search for the other moon crystals. Well, Valua, it looks like this is goodbye for now. Don't worry. We'll return you back once the corrupted rule is done. You can even take down the Empress yourself. That'd be cool. Meanwhile... Of the Knights of the Crooked Table. Oh, Ramirez saw everything. Oh no. He knows. He knows. So that means Enrique is going to be in trouble and he'll probably be executed anyway. Or they'll attempt to execute him. There we go. It's all three of our ships. Good. <laughs> there you go, Gilder. We did it. We escaped the Grand Fortress twice! Yes, and I'm happy that we're all together again. Some of us are happier than others. Obviously. Oh, Gilder, I'm so happy. I'll never let you go. Out of one prison, into the next. <laughs> What's wrong, Gilder? You guys make a cute couple. I'm very happy for you, Clara. Who would have thought this would be the guy? Oh, thank you, Fina. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. Ugh, I'm really starting to miss that jail cell in Valua. Huh, a shame. Well, since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Even though this is my ship, I am not an experienced sailor. I would feel more comfortable with someone else at the helm. I know who I'd cast my vote for, me! Vice, you're the best man for the job. Uh, it's pretty obvious. I agree with Ika. I would feel the most comfortable with you as our captain. Gilder's a little uncomfortable with the, late, with the ladies. I know I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you would make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, boys, and a good leader. I think you'll, you'll make a great captain. I gotta remember to do that. Well, it seems unanimous. Boys, will you accept the responsibility of being captain of the Delphinus? I don't know if I'm up to it. A manly answer! Uh -huh. I'll do it! I won't let you down! And I keep everybody high spirits. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! Besides, wasn't your dream to be the captain of your own ship someday? Now you're the captain of a valuant ship! Oh yeah, the Dolphins is going to need a new flag! You're right, Ika. Every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. Why don't we start working on one now? The Dolphinus should have a flag as soon as possible. You're right. I think Vise, Ica, and Phoenix should get together and design our new flag. Being a Prince of Value, I don't think it is my place to design Air Pirate's flag, but I can judge any ideas that you have. What? 
You want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It'll be fun! Just give it a try! Hey, boys! I want to take a look around the Delphinus! Good idea. I think we all should. We should split up and check out the ship. If something's wrong with it, it's better to find out now rather than in the heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everyone! Meet back at the bridge when you're done. Cool, we get to explore the ship. Can I save? No. That's a bit of a dick move. It's not a save spot on this thing? Ah. Whatever, I'll just save now. I just sit in my proper throne. This is the captain's chair. I guess that means it's mine. I'd rather be at the helm, though. I wouldn't feel right just sitting here. <laughs> well, you'll get to stay in front of it for now. So come back next time. We'll explore the Delphinus, and uh, I guess we'll be back in our merry way to fighting against Valua. Doing whatever we have to do to get the moon crystals. Damn, my new ship is ballin'. Now I know what the leaders of the world got to feel like when they rode on a ship. <laughs>